So after you deploy the Next.js app on Vercel, now you, it's, it is time to create a webhook on Sanity Cloud. So I am right now, right now in the Sanity uh, IO Manage where you can see all the projects. So this is the project that we are you know, doing, Demo Sanity Next. So click on that one. and then click on API then click on webhook actually it's already selected here so and we need to uh, generate uh, a webhook for that uh, we need to click on this create webhook now it gives you options to create webhook and first of all you need to uh, put a name for the webhook I will use uh, you can use any name but I will use uh, this name here demo send you next you don't need a description and the URL this is one of the uh, most important thing here so I will in our project actually the URL well this can if you go through the tutorial the the domain name would be demo sanity uh, next slash app uh, dot versal app but if you use a different name it can be different but but the url that uh, that we receive webhook messages is the domain name api subfolder and the revalidate now we need to create this revalidate file uh, that matches with the, this uh, route uh, so it will be in the uh, post uh, you can see that later and uh, this is where we receive our webhook and then the data set you can select the product DB here we have of course one data uh, set in this tutorial and we are going to create uh, the trigger webhook on create update and delete that means when you create uh, a product or update or delete a product from your um, uh, data set on sanity cloud it should automatically send a webhook to the next JFS, uh, app on Vercel and uh, that uh, deployed on Vercel and in turn it should when the, the uh, when the webhook receives to our app it should automatically change those uh, data displayed on the uh, vessel uh, in the next js app on vessel so that's the goal here now next one is actually uh, we need to put uh, slash type uh, once equal product that is uh, the filter so this one I so this is the filter that means actually we taking only the the product document product table so the language if you wonder what kind of language use here this is a uh, a custom language in called uh, GROQ and it's almost like a let's say SQL like language that uh, Sanity uses uh, I will provide the resource uh, link for this uh, and for references in the resource section of the post and uh, then this is we are another important thing this is what we get through the webhook this is uh, the body uh, of uh, that we receive through the webhook so we get the id and the, the current id when the user select a product uh, it should send uh, the, the the id and the the name of the the current id uh, in the body so we should receive that in this to this url so this one in our case is ID 
ie dot around so it should be actually this, yeah you can use it as um, okay. just to make sure there's no error so now you might be a little confused what this current means and this is actually part of this uh, GROQ uh, language so once you have uh, read the ref uh, reference section of this uh, language you will understand this one this basically means we are we sending the, the current ID uh, uh, in the body uh, this is what it means uh, and this is the key so we, we are going to use this key in the revalidate file uh, that we in the revalidated file that we are going to uh, do later and keep this one enable webhook as it is and we are going to use a post request so and then the secret you can add a secret here and the secret would be in my case I use um, this my webhook secret this can be anything of course and then click on save So if you add everything and now actually uh, another thing you I need to do is to add the this, this, the secret to the, the local development environment too. So I will add another one here. I would call sanity web uh, book secret equals and I will paste their secret here. As you can see it added uh, and I also forgot to mention the permission should be mentioned as should be as editor it's a uh, it's a default one that means actually uh, when you you have permission to read and write so that's one so once you uh, added that one uh, you can also go to your so the demo sentinx app that is the the, the versal project the deployment and we are we are we need to add that uh, environment uh, variable so you can go to uh, deployment uh, and actually settings uh, and then go to environment variables and then you can get this secret sanity webhook secret and add as an environment variable here and the value would be my is the value here so make sure for a, a, any uh, environment variable production pp when development is selected these are of course default uh, uh, settings you don't need to change and then click on add so now we have all together four environment variables the project id data set sanity token and the sanity webhook secret so that is all that is how you add the webhook uh, on sanity cloud and the secret and also how to add that secret as an environment environment variable on uh, versa thank you